orchestrating a new future for South Africa as other parts of the planet burn. Hello, I'm Jane Dutton. This is Eyewitness News. So what could a future without the ANC governing South Africa look like? Well, the multi-party convention took place this week, and here are some of its outcomes. They've agreed that the leader of the largest party will become the leader of government. Big agreement has been that the parties have agreed to relook at the design of the national cabinet. Assessing the seemingly inadequate state of our private jails, more than 2,000 inmates from the Kutama Sintumule Correctional Center had to be transferred to safe zones following last week's fire. Footage supplied to EWN shortly after the fire erupted show inmates scattering for cover as gunshots can be heard. The prison houses high-risk offenders. Kutama Sintumule Prison is only the second privately run prison facility in the country after the Mangaun Correctional Center in Bloemfontein. That's the prison Tabo Besta escaped from. The prison is run by an American private corrections company, the GEO Group. The company has a 25-year contract with correctional services, which expires in 2027. Marike de Klerk's killer will be out of jail this month. Luyanda Mboniswa has been granted parole. He was sentenced to life in prison at the age of 21 for the 2001 murder of former President F.W. de Klerk's wife. Mboniswa was considered for parole placement, having served the minimum required time and will be a free man by the end of the month. Mboniswa will be admitted into the system of community corrections whereby he is expected to comply with a specific set of parole conditions for the rest of his natural life. And some of his parole conditions are that he has to be restricted to his magisterial district and is not allowed to have contact with the family of the victim. Mboniswa was 21 years old at the time and worked at the complex as a security guard. A relative of a boy who was raped and killed allegedly by a 47-year-old man in Kraifontein says rapists and killers should get life sentences without the option of parole. The eight-year-old boy was found dead in a bed while visiting a friend for a sleepover in June. The accused is facing charges of murder, rape, sexual assault, and assault with intent to cause grievous bodily harm. At his previous court appearance, the accused confirmed that in 2005, he was convicted of rape. <laughs> It's understood that he didn't spend any time in prison for this crime, but was sent on a diversion program instead. The deceased boy's aunt believes that if the accused had been sent to prison for the 2005 rape, her nephew would still be alive. I don't think this case was handled very well um, because this guy does have priors and the investigation wasn't done properly. And um, if, if he had served, I mean, like he had... Gotten, he had gotten three years of a, a program from the NPA, but he only did three months of this program. And it was only found out now, years later, that he only did three months of this program. Why wasn't this followed up? Why wasn't he um, incarcerated? His case has been postponed to the 22nd of next month for further investigations. Our burning planet, wildfires have broken out in both Canada and Spain. Canada is witnessing its worst wildfire season on record, with more than 230 fires currently burning in a region alone. Residents of Yellowknife, one of its largest cities in the far north, have been ordered to evacuate. There are concerns the fires could reach the area, occupied by nearly 20,000 residents by the weekend. The city of Yellowknife declared an emergency earlier this week, which was soon expanded across the territory. Officials on the Spanish island of Tenerife say the out-of-control fires there have forced road closures and the evacuation of five villages. The wildfire comes after the Canary Islands were hit by a heat wave that has left many areas tinder dry, increasing the risk of fires. Scientists say heat waves have become more likely due to climate change. This also happened this week. And that's it from me, Jane Dutton, and the Eyewitness News team. Remember to like and subscribe. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.